Hi, my name is Jennifer Jones and I'm a school counselor working with the Utah School Mental Health Collaborative to provide support to schools across the state. Today we are going to discuss mental health needs assessment and resource mapping. A mental health needs assessment involves gathering information to better understand a school community's needs. While a resource map includes a list of various resources available in the school and community to help meet those needs. The purpose of a mental health needs assessment is to help all school partners see community strengths and areas for improvement as they relate to overall school functioning, including mental health and well-being. In order to identify some of these needs and strengths, we can review existing data such as office discipline referrals, well-being screening data, graduation rates, and academic and behavioral performance. After we've completed a mental health needs assessment, we then develop a resource map to identify and align existing and new support in school and community to facilitate the identified needs. Resource maps increase awareness and access to resources and enhance communication and collaboration between the school, caregivers, and community. The data we gather during mental health needs assessments is also a great way to understand gaps in services for certain populations or different mental health conditions. For example, gaps in services for minoritized students or for those presenting with emotional dysregulation this data will be helpful for the well-being team to brainstorm how to maximize the use of existing resources in the school and also identify and reach out to community resources and personnel that could further support their students. The process of mental health needs assessment and resource mapping is intended to be a collaborative one with as many perspectives from school and community partners as possible. A more diverse team can contribute diverse perspectives. Resource maps and needs assessments are ongoing and collaborative processes essential to ensure students and their families continue to fill and be supported. Ideally, these should be reviewed several times a year to reflect current needs and resource inventories. You can help by asking to review your school's current resource map. Perhaps there are resources that you weren't aware of that you can now share with your students and their families, or you can have additional resources to add to the map for your community. Follow us on social media to learn more about the Utah School Mental Health Collaborative.